In a previous video you've seen how we can use average bond enthalpies or mean bond enthalpies to calculate the enthalpy change for a reaction. In this video I'm going to show you how to calculate a bond enthalpy from the enthalpy change. So I'm going to use this question which centers around the combustion of propane to illustrate that. So you can see there we've got the balanced chemical equation and we've got the enthalpy change minus 1935. We've also been given a table with some of the bond enthalpies in but there's one missing and that's the CC double bond. So the task is we have to calculate a value for the average bond enthalpy of the CC double bond. So at this point I don't know if you want to try the question yourself and then play on when you're ready to see me go through the answer or just keep watching now. So the first thing I would recommend you do is you actually write out the equation but in displayed formula. And the great thing about displayed formula is you can see all of the bonds. So if you remember my method, I call it the in minus out method. So the enthalpy change for the reaction is equal to the energy that has to go in to break the bonds in the reactants. And from that you subtract the energy that's released when the bonds in the products are formed. So there's all the numbers. I'll just explain where they're coming from. So I'll just click these through. Right, so we've got the enthalpy change was minus 1935. So all of this slot here, these are all bonds that need to be broken. So that's my energy that has to go in. So we've got six carbon-hydrogen single bonds, the unknown CC double bond, the CC single bond, and four and a half moles of oxygen need to be reacted as well. So that's four and a half times the 498. So when the bonds form in the products, we're going to actually make six C double bondos because each carbon dioxide has two C double bondos in. So three moles would make six. And we're also going to make six OH bonds. So there's the numbers there for that. So I've just calculated what I can. So I'm getting the enthalpy change is equal to 5067 plus the unknown minus this number here. And the next thing I need to do is get the CC double bond on its own. So CC double bond on its own is the minus 1935. So I'm essentially taking this over to this side. So the sign changes this over to this side and its sign changes as well. And you can see that's given me an answer of plus 612 kilojoules per mole and whatever you do don't forget that plus sign it's really important to include that to show that it's an endothermic process